Alrighty then, muck check, muck check. Welcome aboard, ladies and gents. Let's do a quick one here. It is my son's birthday today, so we've got a lot going on here. Was unable to stream today. Lots of uh, reasons for that. We'll come in and we'll we'll talk about it here. Um, don't forget, if you haven't done so already, make sure you are following us over here and here and here. And of course, this is where you're going to get everything learned um, here on our Discord channel. Let me turn that volume on down here for you, and hopefully you guys can hear me all right. Um, we're going to take care of this, and i got to get going. But uh, let's take a peek at how we did here today. Absolutely smashing bonus level day here. Super excited about this one. Uh, wish I could have recorded this one. Man, we just got a huge dropout. Market is still dropping after hours, so be careful. Don't don't go long right now. You guys have seen in the markets. Um, you know, look, there's a lot of things going on in the news right now. If you're listening in and hearing the disaster of you know the Biden administration effing up an entire thing with Afghanistan, all sorts of types of stuff. You got the coronavirus thing. You know, there's news coming into that. If you want to see some of that, I'm gonna show you guys here in just a moment of how you're able to kind of take advantage of that or hear it and see it. So let me talk about audio box and how powerful audio box is in a scenario like this one so let me pull up our discord trade room if you've not joined our discord trade room again you are really missing out not being able to figure out what we need um, to do here but inside of the algo box trade room right over here all you have to do is just come in here click on e-mini trade for you will hear it so this afternoon again i've been spending a lot of time with family today my little guy he's you know he's starting five years old he's in the kindergarten now so we're making it a big event here around here so i've really been away from the machines but I, I keep track. I've been watching folks what's going on in my in the Discord room via my phone. Again, install Discord on your phone, folks. It's extremely important to keep up with what's going on in the room. But I'm hearing, you know, everybody's doing really well and all this stuff. I'm listening into the news with Afghanistan. Everybody's, you know, pretty much tuned into this a lot. So I'm thinking, man, like this could really rock the markets. And of course, I just had a red day recently. Yesterday, I didn't trade. Um, you know, and so today, again, I was expecting another day of probably no trade, but. I heard the audio box. So again, I keep the audio box going in the background on my machine out in the hallway so I can kind of hear what's going on. And all of a sudden I start to hear. Of course, so that's my cue, folks. This is how I do it. And I'm encouraging you to do the same. If you want to know when are great times to come in and trade, you want to come over here and just listen in to the audio box room. If you have not you know, been a part of it or used it, again, just you know, watch through on the video um, on how to listen into that. And, and it'll teach you everything you really need to know. Um, and then you'll become accustomed to it. But it can do everything from being able to figure out how to win to start your day, or um, if you're entering into trades already, how to help out with the, uh, whether you're getting bigger on a trade, your confidence in a trade, etc. So many ways to use that. Again, I don't wanna say so many ways. That sounds like, oh, there's so many ways to use it. Just pick, no. We have very specific ways that we use it, but it is very, very powerful um, in those ways that we use it. I'll put it that way, okay? All right, so super excited here. Let's try to make this uh, a quick one. I'm gonna pull up the Good stats job. for today. Nice Crushed it on the bonus day. And so we are on, today is the 18th, my son's birthday, 818. Great day uh, around here with the crew here. And Our let's go pattern. into, nice um, back with the entire trading contest. So oh, well, let's, let's nice look at the stats. So first, 55% profitable, 3.41. Yes, I took some drawdown in there. Um, let me show you guys up top. Let's, let's, let's go through some of the trades first before we go into the results, shall we? So come up here to the top. And I took a few screenshots even though I wasn't able to do everything else. Look at this beautiful stuff here coming in. I mean, this is just solid. First of all, we got the up move. Blue power dot, green dot. I didn't get any of this on the upside. I started to hear all the beats um, around this area and then in the far late afternoon, which I'll show you guys. So my first set of trades was here after this red dot. I see this red dot inside. We saw a, broke of the, uh, a break of the green dot and then we get a red dot. Look at that spot right there. Okay, you, may, you, uh, you should be drawing a horizontal line right there. I didn't, I wish I would have at the time, but we already kind of had it. Our system already drew the line there for us anyways. Great spot to be looking for this trade position here, looking to the short side on the way down. Now, I kind of got hung up in this because I kind of got short somewhere in here. It kind of stopped me out first, and then I end up making the continuation down. Um, and again, I kind of got a little bit heavy on this trade. I was super excited. I really just wanted to kind of be one and done today. I really was not going to have time to spend a lot of time in the markets because, again, family stuff and birthdays, etc. So I'm trying to maximize, and we have this, just you just hear the drilling coming in. And sure enough, you know, end up making up for it, and then some. Uh, putting in around two thousand dollars or so on that first trade, so I was super happy with that one. But got to add to that in the late afternoon as additional trades started to come in. So we get more confluence coming in here. We got the first red dot. That wasn't the one that really set me up, but this one right here, there was the final drop in for me to really just start to go. Okay, now let me look for my entry points on the higher time frames. 
Absolutely smash this well, off of the top pattern. side. Nasty Comes in somewhere just... around here. We've got the double dot headshot coming in with a power dot back behind it. Easy breezy entry setups for the final dropout on those sets of trades in the afternoon. So again, very easy day to get short. Now, so let's look at, you know, those stats particularly. Look, I basically had zero long trades today and all short. You know, two major big trades, um, really. I mean, it was a lot of clicks because as you see, the numbers, the, the numbers of trades there, that 29, that's how many times you click the button, right? So it's not really trades. Um, yes, I took some drawdown. I didn't win all of them. Again, the first set, I kind of got hung up in a little bit. And then, you know, we were able to smash it on the second set of trades on that. So not too good, not too bad, um, but I'm happy walking away with a nice big fat bonus day. Um, let's look at the stats where we are in the contest. We are absolutely destroying Ross. Uh, I kind of feel like, man, I don't even think, I don't feel like we're playing the same game. Although I'll be, car be careful with Ross. He's a YOLO player, right? He is, uh, you know, YOLO, I call it, you only live once, YOLO. He smashes these big trades, so who knows? Like in one single day, the guy could smash some big one as his account starts to grow. That's how he operates, right? Just massive hits and whatnot. And that's, again, that's not how we do it. He has to be there in the morning, using the momentum of his crew to push his own trade, all that type of stuff that they have to do. We don't need any of that with our system. Um, but as far as the trading contest, let's uh, take a peek at the results. Uh, don't forget if you are going to get involved with us with gold, gold ends on September the 1st. Gold goes away. That's our lifetime option. So if you are planning on getting in with the crew with us, don't forget to join in with that. And of course, we got the $1,000 off our Black Friday offer. We pause and say that again. We're doing the Black Friday offer right now through the end of the month, plus an additional $1,000 off. We've never done that and we'll never do it again. Gold goes away on September the 1st as we release our new website, which I'm very, very proud of. If you guys saw the sneak peek Good of it, our website, Nasdaq it looks epic. Super excited about releasing that to you guys. 33,835, 2.41 profit factor, 62.27 on the percentage. Let's dig di deep dive into the stats a little bit Jay further, go into the analysis Nasdaq of those. Um, so let's look at, so drawdown still kind of, you know, the same. Our max drawdown has been pretty consistent across the boards on the drawdown. Everybody likes to see the old mountain that we're climbing. So there she is. So we took the, the drawdown um, a couple days ago. Then yesterday was no trades. And then today got a nice big smasher on a candy day. You know, awesome. I got to be very careful tomorrow, right? What happens after a windfall day? You guys know I play with extreme fear tomorrow. We'll talk about Good that dog. before I get into Nasdaq. it and hopefully be able to also spend some time uh, doing the live stream as we kind of wrap up our birthday celebrations this evening. Um, there is the mountain that we're climbing here. Let's look at um, so day over day again. This is the biggest day yet of the contest. Huge, huge bonus day. Mind you, look, it came after a red day. Um, you know, pretty, pretty awesome. I would have expected to probably see a big day somewhere in here, but you know, we didn't, um, you know, this happens. And today, look, we got, we got news that came out with the room, right? Uh, so our crew members put in some great information into the room there. We have all this on the left-hand side, go into the news section right here on news. And so we catch all of the major news events. And today, the thing we posted in was the, the information around the COVID negative news. Um, as well as the Afghanistan stuff just really added to, you know, the dropout. And let's take a peek at, um, where's the section where they put that in? I should have probably prepared this ahead of time. But you know what? Hey, while we're here, let's look at some positive things. Look at this. 94% profitable for, uh, for Bob. And yeah, short side crushed it. 1600 on the short side. He made a little bit on the long side, hundred bucks there pattern. on the longs. Death. Awesome oh, work there from Bob. I saw a lot of great stuff here today. You guys absolutely smashed it. Obviously we had a lot of fun here as well in the room. Let me see if I can get to some more results, uh, from some of our members. Wajbo and brand new person with us still made his $400 target there. 432. A uh, little low side again. He's new. He's still trying to figure things out, but Hey, coming away with a positive 400. Here is this Remo, uh, Curtis, Curtis smashing uh, 2K, uh, 1900 after commissions, etc. Amazing work. Who's this one? Whiskers throwing down 345 and I believe he's trading micros. So that's equivalent to 3000. Uh, Mountain Man, 165 in the micros. Awesome. 800 for Nixie again, micros folks, uh, you know, do, do that multiplied times hundred. Those are in the thousands. Tim, $714, again, one of our new members, but is actually a member and been with us for now about a month and a half, two months coming up there. Nice job on his 85% profitable. 
Fantastic freaking work. Just absolutely stellar results from you guys. If you guys wanna go and check out those results, hop into our public chat here. I'm not gonna go through every single one of these, but look at this, 82% profitable, 800 bucks there on that one. This will be the last one. Yengi, how'd she do? 1,930, 82% profitable and a profit factor of three. 0.07 winners three times the size of her losers um, but yes I want to show you guys two things getting into the audio box room and the news that helped us to know we were going to be able to take those sets of trades in the audio boxes just blah, 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 but just blowing out beats on the short side and we knew that the sellers were coming in hard um, and there was no real hard bounce really to kind of get us even nervous or shaken out of this it was just like dude there is there was some days you get like this where there's just no hiding it they're not going to be able to hide it and you just get that massive dropout again big picture look at this up on the 89 remember these are 89 ticks a piece holy cow i mean one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven let's just call it you know, uh, 11 Nasty. times your your 80 there. You're talking about uh, you know 800. I'm sorry, eight. Is that 800? Yeah, 800. Some odd ticks. Amazing. That's a huge, huge drop out there. Awesome. Um, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. What else do I want to look at on this? No, nope, that's pretty much it. So let's come out back over to our trading window. We are looking at the results from our contest. So trading contests continue on here. Other stats you might want to look at. We looked at those, cumulative max drawdown. Kind of seen that already. Um, time of day, let's get to time of day Good stuff. Job. Just up here. So half hour of day and let's go to net profits. Okay, so again, in the afternoon, I'm trading more in the afternoon than anywhere else. Um, let's look at... Day of the week. Uh, what's today? Is today Wednesday? Yeah, you can see. So Wednesday became a big standout today. Again, oftentimes this is actually pretty normal. Wednesday, we're going to have the most amount of volatility. This is the day that FOMC events occur. This is the day before Red Stars on Thursday, where we have the non-farm uh, payroll numbers that come out. Uh, on Thursdays and Fridays. So Wednesday oftentimes is that big one. We've also got crude oil inventories that come in on Wednesdays. Um, lots of events that occur around on Wednesday. Sometimes the when you have a Monday off, that pushes the, um, the activity of the volume from a Monday to a Wednesday. So oftentimes, again, you will see that for me, it, historically, Wednesdays are my best day overall. Um, from a P&L perspective, um, that's where I make the most amount of money. So that's a good stat to kind of know there and anything else i think we've i think we've covered it i'm a little bit scattered um trying to think about getting back out there and hanging out with the fam um my daughter did some swim lessons here and she'll be back here in a few minutes so i'm gonna go back out there and make sure i get the rest of the decorations and things ready for this evening's festivities and uh yeah hope you guys are doing well thanks for hanging out for me pippy robbie lunch spot mod squad curtis g and the rest of the gang let's send out that big h town don't forget to smash those buttons. Long. See ya! Harmonic pattern. Mask on the tooth.